is a cow heart. We know that this is your left ventricle because of the thickness of your wall, and this is your right ventricle because of the, it's a thinner wall mass. So if you're identifying where you are in the heart, that's gonna be your first identifier. So this here is the left ventricle. This over here is the right ventricle. Sorry, let me open this for you better. Here is, is your um, tricuspid valve. And if you've gone through the tricuspid valve, that's your right atrium. So you have right atrium, tricuspid valve, right ventricle. These are chordae tendinae that connects the valve to the papillary muscle, that's here. This is your intraventricular septum. We're moving over to the left ventricle. And here is your mitral valve. Through the mitral valve up to the chamber above it is your um, left atrium. So left atrium, um, mitral or bicuspid valve, left ventricle. Um, if we can focus in here, this is still left ventricle. So any vessel leaving the left ventricle would be your aorta. So where the poker is there is the aorta. And these valves that are like cusps is your aortic semilunar valve. If we're gonna look here, we're in the right atrium, left, I'm sorry, left atrium. And if he were to ask you what vessel, I'm gonna try to get this poker through it. What vessel goes into the yeah, right here? What is that vessel here coming into the left atrium? What would that be? Tell me, that's why it's a study video. <laughs> Pulmonary, veins. <laughs> Pulmonary veins. Pulmonary veins is the only thing coming into the left atrium. Okay. Here in the right atrium, if we have, if he has a poker through any vessel there, it would be either the superior or the inferior vena cava. And then you really can't see it on this heart. We'll have to look at it on another one. But leaving the right ventricle is the pulmonary trunk, which would be up in through here. Okay. Um, here's a very good example of a papillary muscle. See that there? Yep. Connecting your chordae tendinae to your mitral valve. Yep. There's some trabeculae carni in through here. And then that right there is your moderator band. Yep. See that there? I think it's the only heart that had a good one in it. That one. Okay, let's look at the outside of the heart. Okay. This is your left ventricle. It's a larger area. Here is your left atrium. Here is your right ventricle. And then kind of to the back of this heart is your right atrium. The um, sulcus between here is your atrioventricular sulcus. The little flap of the atrium is called the auricle. Between the ventricles where your um, coronary vessel goes would be your intraventricular sulcus. And then over here, you would also have your atrial ventricular sulcus. Um, the layer of, of tissue that adheres directly to the heart itself is the visceral pericardium. You see that there? Just that thin little serous layer. Okay. What was in the one you said we should look at the other one to get a yeah. better view? We can just go through it here. Just because each heart's going to look different to you. Right. Here is the, again, we know this is left ventricle because of the wall thickness, and this is right ventricle. Um, here is your aorta coming out of the left ventricle, and these are the aortic semilunar valves. Here's your mitral or, or bicuspid valve with the chordae tendinae attaching to the papillary muscle. This would be, I guess, I guess that's either, yeah. I guess that's just trabeculae carni. It's not very thick. Um, coming out of your right ventricle, if you can scroll in there, there is your pulmonary trunk that would leave there, and you can see just a little bit of the flaps of the pulmonary semilunar valve. Can you get that? I can see it, but I don't know if there's enough light in there. I don't know if I can open it anymore for you. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, that's better. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Um, this is still right ventricle. Coming out of the right ventricle is your pulmonary artery through the pulmonary semilunar valve. Here's a good moderator band. See that there? 
This valve is your um, tricuspid valve. There's a chordae tendinae that connect it. And through the tricuspid valve is what chamber? So I spit it out. Uh, oh, the right atrium. The right atrium, because you've gone through the valve. If we're coming through any vessel that comes into the right atrium is either your superior or inferior vena cava. So if he has a pipe cleaner through that, that's what you'd say. Anything coming out of the right ventricle has to be your pulmonary artery. So on the cow heart, he's got the pipe cleaner going through that. The one on the top is the superior and the one coming out the back or the side areas. It's really hard to identify, and I don't think he's going to make you know the difference on the cow heart. Um, I can poke them in there well, for you and show you. Well, he kind of specified that, that, like on a human heart, the inferior is out the on the, the, the bottom and yeah. on the cow heart it's kind of at the side because the heart's positioned differently in the cavity. This would be your because superior. Because they're quadrupeds and we're bipedal. That's true. That would be your superior and then your inferior would come here off the side. That book's yummy. I can get into that. <laughs> She's just digging there in there. Right there. Here. <laughs> right there was your inferior. Okay. I don't think he's going to be that specific. Um, but just so you see that. Okay. Um, is there anything else we missed on this one? Mm, Again, your inter it, <laughs> interventricular sulcus. I mean, septum, interventricular septum. The bottom part of your heart's your apex. Mm. I think that's it. Beautiful.